Rates of anxiety and depression were already on the rise before the coronavirus pandemic. We know that. And mental health professionals are concerned that even more people are struggling now because of isolation and social distancing. There's new research showing technology can help. Karen Borda explains in today's Mental Health Monday. Liza and her son, Mike Montalongo, never planned on being roommates. Then COVID-19 happened. They say keeping their distance from everyone else has been tough. I've lost a lot of sleep over, I think, the stress of this whole situation. Many Americans are struggling during this unprecedented time. Now, new research from Northwestern Medicine suggests technology might help. The study looked at a collection of free mobile apps called IntelliCare, which offer short exercises to de-stress, reduce worrying, and strategies to keep up with everyday activities. Anxiety and depression were significantly reduced among people who use the apps compared to people who got treatment for their depression and anxiety solely from their primary care provider. Rather than just focusing on education, we're really focusing on, on skills, on trying to help people change the things that they're doing in their lives. Study author Dr. David Moore has advice for anyone having a hard time right now. One thing to try to do is to create routines. We all, we all do better when we have a little bit of structure to our lives. Try to incorporate kindness into, into your daily lives. Liza and Mike say cooking, listening to music, and staying connected are helping. Music is a big one. That's probably my biggest one. Uh, texting my friends all the time. They're grateful for their health and each other now more than ever. Karen Borda, CBS 11 News. Well, of course, doctors say technology should not be a replacement for treatment. If you find yourself, family, or friends struggling, it's important to help to get help from a health care provider just as soon as you can.